Hello my friends, I am so happy you are here with me and today I want to use Dilutions Christmas Stamps, Inks and Shimmer Paint to make my first holiday spread for this year. I pulled out a bunch of inks, I won't use them all and I have my ink filled brushes. I don't have water brushes for all my inks but I will use a regular watercolor brush for the ones I don't have water brushes for. The Dilutions Christmas Stamps are amazing and I would like to use all of them but since it would be a bit crowded I chose some of them and in the interest of time I did the stamping off camera in Versafine Onyx Black Ink. To be able to color with Dilutions inks I use a pipette and put a few drops in those small cups and I use a double zero round brush and some water. For the Christmas string lights I use the orange Tangerine Dream and the yellow Pure Sunshine. It is super easy to blend the inks so I can add all the orange and then blend with the yellow. The inks are water reactive so I don't have to worry about harsh lines at all. For the lamp holders I use Slate Grey ink. Throughout this coloring I use Postbox Red and Fiery Sunset for all my berries. I add the darker red Postbox Red first and blend it out with Fiery Sunset which is a light reddish orange. For all the leaves and greenery I use two green combos, first I use Shop Pesto, Dirty Martini and Mushy Peas, that combo is a more dirty green combo. And then my traditional green combo with polished jade, cut grass and fresh lime. As always with these inks I add the darkest first and blend out with one or two lighter shades. I left in a lot of colouring this time and I used those green combos along with my red combo for all the leaf and flower compositions. While I color I want to thank you who watch my videos because it means so much to me and get me through hard times to know that I have this safe place where I can create and share and I have you lovely human beings that are so uplifting and supportive. Thank you. For the hat on this gnome I start with the red inks, postbox red and fiery sunset. And for his moustache and beard I use slate grey ink and blend it out with water to give the white beard some dimension. For his nose I mix desert sand ink with rose quartz to give this gnome a skin tone and then I use grey ink again to add some texture to the white parts of his hat. I use the dark green polished jade and the lighter green cut grass to color his sweater and for every other stripe on his leggings I use my red combo. For the remaining stripes I use Tangerine Dream and blend it out with vanilla custard and for the shoes I use the same green shades I used on his sweater and for the soles of the shoes I went with red.
To color the hearts on the little gnome's outfit, I use the same red shades as before and put the darker red down first and fill in the rest with the lighter red. Then I color his nose, mustache and beard the same way I colored his taller gnome friend. For parts of his hat, his arms and legs I used polished jade and cut grass and for his shoes I used those red shades again. The last thing I do on this gnome is to add some dimension to the white areas by using slate grey ink where I want the shadows and I blend it out with water, fading the grey out to white. For the hat on this amazing bird with shoes and leggings, I use my red combo and grey to bring out the white parts of the hat. I color every other stripe on his leggings in red and then I add tangerine dream and vanilla custard for his beak. I finish off the outfit by coloring the rest of the stripes and his shoes in green. For the bird's body I bring out black marvel ink and use water to blend out harsh lines. For his tummy I use red and then I move on to the smaller bird, coloring him in black with a red tummy as well. I have my two green combos and I choose the more yellow-green combo with shop pesto and dirty martini to color in stripes on the hat. And like before I use grey to add texture to the white parts of the hat. Then I use the same green shades on his leggings and finally red for his shoes. Next I felt I needed some more images so I bring out a dilution stamp set with cats and birds and I stamp a few cats because I don't know which cat I will end up using in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. I also want some Christmas trees so I choose a couple of trees from this lovely stamp set and stamp them the same way as the other images. For the smaller tree I color with polished jade, cut grass and fresh lime. I use melted chocolate brown ink for the tree trunk and tangerine dream and pure sunshine for the star at the top. For the cat I start with post box red at the bottom and to add shadows on the face. I blend the red out with tangerine dream pulling it up from the red at the bottom and finally I use pure sunshine to blend out and fill in the rest giving me an ombre cat. I color the smaller cat the same way as the larger cat. I color in the diamonds on this tree with all my green inks, one for each diamond. Now let's work on a sentiment. I have this label from an older dialogue stamp set. I also bring out a Tim Holtz stamp set and choose a sentiment saying, Dear Santa, I've been good this year. Mostly. Sometimes. Once. Never mind, and I stamp the sentiment in black. I color the frame around the label in postbox red and fiery sunset, and for the inside, I used polished jade and cut grass.
When the label is colored, I glue the sentiment onto the green background. So, let's make an easy background using some of the new shimmer paints in Fiery Sunset, Dirty Martini, Vanilla Custard and Vibrant Turquoise. For this project I will use my 8x8 Black Dilutions Art Journal and I flip through the pages with mostly Lavinia projects and find a spread to work on. I put some Dirty Martini shimmer paint on my page and use a brayer to drag the color out along the bottom of the page. The shimmer paints are more opaque than the other dilutions paints and work amazing on black pages. Then I do the same with Fiery Sunset and Vanilla Custard. It's a super easy background. When the first layer on my background is dry, I bring out Vibrant Turquoise Shimmer Paint and a Dilution Snowflake Stencil. And I stencil in shimmering turquoise snowflakes all over the top half of my background. And that's it, our background is done. It's time to start putting these pages together and I start by gluing down the border greenery and then I move on to all of the other leaves and berries. When all my many, many leaves and berries are in place, I start gluing down the poinsettias in red and green. Next I glue down two of the Christmas trees and a cat and I put one of the gnome hats on the cat to give it some Christmas feeling. I glue down the two gnomes and the amazing birds and another Christmas tree. I place the small cat in the left corner and then I glue down my label with the sentiment. Here are all my Christmas lights colored and cut out and I glue them along the top and down the sides of my pages.
The last detail on these pages is to use glossy accents which gives a domed effect and I put it on the lights, the gnome noses, the frame around my sentiment and the stars at the top of the Christmas trees. And now, these Christmas mixed media dilutions art journal pages are finished. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Until the next time, happy Christmas crafting.